Hi, my name's Tom Miles. I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I just bought um, a new Canon HF200 camcorder. I was looking for something that uh, did high definition, um, that I had an external microphone adapter, and cost under $600. I chatted with a few friends and ended up getting the Canon, and I'm very pleased that I got it. However, very shortly after I got it and began shooting, I discovered a problem. Um, I didn't know how to download from the HF200 to iMovie on my iMac. I went online with Google and found a lot of confusion and not very many workable answers. Well, make a long story short, uh, I stumbled across a solution that works just fine. I've created a PowerPoint uh, that describes that that I'd like to share next. Um, hope you enjoy it. To begin with, only Intel processor Macs can capture and edit high-definition footage. My configuration is an iMac running OS X 10.5.8 and iMovie 09. I'm assuming that you've had some time to explore the HF200 and know uh, what the various components are. The first step is connecting the power supply. Second, you'll turn the HF200 on, and then you'll use the LCD panel menu to select Component Output of either 480i or 1080i, then set up Video Playback Mode, then select USB Connector Type Computer Printer. Next, attach the HF200 to your computer using the USB connector. The camcorder should appear on the desktop as Canon HDD. If you're using HF10, 11, 20, or HG20 20 and 21 with internal flash memory and a memory card, it will display as two Canon HDDs. Once you're in iMovie, uh, you'll select the HF200 as the input. Then you can select Upload All, or you can highlight the scenes you wish to upload, and iMovie will then upload them as you would expect. The 960 by 540 file size will be about one-third the size of the full original file size selection, with, as near as I can tell, little apparent difference in quality. After the upload, the HF200 LCD panel will continue to warn you to not disconnect or turn the camcorder off. You'll need to eject the Canon HDD by clicking its triangle in the finder. Also, clicking Done in iMovie seems to do the same thing. You can then safely disconnect the USB cable and begin working in iMovie to build a project and edit your movie. Well, there you have it. Um, I'd really be interested in hearing how it works for you. Just leave a comment on my YouTube uh, video here. Thanks. Have a good day.